Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do some math here in Xano. So I've created this custom function right here just so I can play around and show you guys. If I go ahead into my function stack and hit this blue plus button and go to data manipulation and go to near the bottom here is where it says math. And here are all the basic math and uh, bitwise operators. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, and then our bitwise operators. So for this example, I'm going to show you two different approaches uh, to do a Fahrenheit to Celsius calculation. And that should give you a working framework to do any math functions that you need to do here in Xano. So the first way is going to be kind of the long way. I'll go ahead and hit this blue plus button. I'll go to data manipulation and I'll create a variable. And I'll do this value. I'll make sure it's an integer. I'll go to constant and then I'll hit integer. And then let's say that it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So the conversion to Celsius is subtract 32 and then multiply by 5 ninths. So I'm going to do all that for you right now. I'll go ahead and hit 80. I'll hit save. And remember, this is the long way. Now I'll hit plus again. I'll go to data manipulation. And now I'll go to my math. And I will use subtraction to subtract a number. And then I'll choose var 1, which is 80. And then the value will be 32. I'll hit save. And then I can just run and debug this, make sure this is all looking good. So OK, 80 minus 32. Yep, that's 48. So let's continue with this conversion. I'll go back to my function stack into data manipulation, click on math again, and then I'll multiply by a number. And then I'll choose the existing variable and I'll put in the value five. I'll hit save. And then I'll go back into my function stack one more time into data manipulation, back into math, divide by a number, click on variable one, and then divide that by nine, hit save. Okay, so now we have 80 minus 32 and then multiplied by 5 ninths. So I can go ahead and hit run the bug and you can see we get 26.6 degrees Celsius. Okay, that was a long way. So I'm going to show you a little more of, I guess, a clean way to do that same calculation. So if I go ahead and hit this plus button, data manipulation, and then create a variable, and then I'll create a variable two here. And let's do a constant. And I'll make this an integer. So this will also be 80 degrees. Now I'm just going to hit this add filter right here, actually. And then I'll choose a filter. I'll go to math. And then I'll just scroll down. And I'll find subtract. And then I'll enter in 32. I'll hit update. I'll add another filter. Choose the filter. And now I'll do multiplication. And I'll multiply it by 5, and then add a filter again, choose filter, and then there's divide right in the middle, and then I'll just type in 9 here, hit update, and then I can go ahead and save that, and make sure that I'm getting var2 here in the response, hit save, and then I'll run and debug that, and there we go, we get the same uh, output there, 26.6 degrees Celsius is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. But let's say that I don't want those long decimal places. I can go back, I can go into add filter, and then I can actually round this, and it rounds to a decimal uh, with optional precision. So I can either round this to a whole number, let's say I want it to uh, two decimal points. I'll type in two there, I'll hit update. I will save that, and when I go ahead and hit run and debug, we get uh, 26.67, so it rounds up. So that's a couple different ways just to uh, do math here in Xano. Um, obviously, the second way looks a little more cleaner, um, but both ways will get you to your answer. So that should give you a starting framework. Also, if you uh, get stuck, go check out the documentation or reach out to us. We're happy to help. And I just want to note that if you have a formula or something that you're going to use over and over again, uh, put it in a custom function so then you can just simply one click implement that into uh, whatever API call or request that you're making.